Hey hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel, I'm Chantal. So this video is the second part of a two part series all about DIY hacks and things that you can do to upgrade your home and really elevate it on a budget. And if you missed out the first video, don't forget to check it out, the link's right here. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell for new video releases. All right, so continuing on from the last video, we're on for number six. So number six is thrifted mid-century modern doors. I picked up these doors from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I think they were about $200. Um, I love them, but they were a really orange, you know, really old orangey kind of piney looking. Um, and I really needed to get rid of that. So what I did was applied some varnish remover and then scraped that off. After that, I used a sander and went over that. Had to repeat that process a couple of times and this is what it looked like. I actually really liked it like this, this kind of, you know, raw look, but um, this wasn't really in keeping with the rest of the space. So I did have to go over it with a stain. Um, and I just used a stain which also had a varnish on it as well. And this is the finished look completely transformed really in fitting with the space you know i love the quality of the doors and the style of the doors and just with a little bit of work they came up looking so good okay so next up number seven is a diy planter box I had this bulkhead that I really wanted to do something with. So firstly, I painted it in a lovely teal colour as a backdrop. A few hours and then later. a few hours later, <laughs> it looked like this. Don't worry, that was just the first part. I actually found this idea in a retail store where they had used a planter box on the wall and I thought, this is what I'm going to do. So I measured out the kind of size that I wanted the planter box to be and then I cut some timber to size. I then used some small brackets um, and just attached those to the two pieces of the timber all the way down and had a planter box. Next up, I took it outside and spray painted it. So I wanted a nice contrast, so I went with a copper spray paint because I thought that looked beautiful with the teal. And then the final stage was to add some plants. Because this was so high, I decided that I was going to use artificial plants because there's no way I'm trying to climb up there every week <laughs> to water plants. I'm not usually one for artificial plants, but you know what? I think they look really good and it's a really good option for this space. This is such a quick and easy little hack. So I purchased these vases from the charity shop, a few dollars, um, but they were, you know, a nice shape, but just really boring brown. And I thought, okay, I can do something with that. So what I did, I wanted to add some texture. So I mixed some baking powder with just some um, acrylic paints in different colors. Mixing the baking powder with paint gives it a kind of a chalk paint effect. Um, I'm not really sure what the exact measurements are, but I'd say mix half a cup of baking powder with, with about three tablespoons full of water, and then maybe one cup of paint. And you can use leftover paint, anything that you have lying around. And then you just paint that on. Usually a couple of um, coats will do, and this is what it looks like. These were the perfect touches for my little buffet table. Um, just added a bit of colour, a bit of interest with the different shapes and looks beautiful with the colourful art in this corner. Okay, staying on the theme of paint, we're moving on to number nine, which is a DIY canvas. So this canvas was actually um, 
repainted. I, I had it in a different colour and a different pattern, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I like to repurpose everything. <laughs> so what I did was I just painted it white and then I just got my acrylics out. I had no idea what I was going to do, the pattern I was going to go for, but I just wanted, wanted it to be abstract. So I just, you know, painted and it kind of just took shape by itself. I then went in with my fingers, got all dirty and just added a bit of texture and tried to, you know, really work the colours and this is what it looks like. I think it's, if I say so myself, <laughs> a beautiful little piece that you could quite easily buy from the shops but I love it knowing that I've done it myself, that it was my own creation and that I've done it on a budget, repurposing something which I would normally have just thrown away. But look at it. It was only meant to be a temporary piece, but I've actually had it up for a while now, and I think it's gonna stay. All right, so the final hack is a big one, and I'll just put it out there. I don't have all that much footage of the process because I was not in the YouTube space. But basically I had this white kitchen, which was, you know, a perfectly good kitchen, but it was just very plain, very dull, and I am not into white. I couldn't justify changing the kitchen, so I decided to paint it. I painted the kitchen cabinets, and here you can see I painted the tiles as well as the fridge, just to make them feel a little bit more like me. I really hope I get to do a project like this again so I can go through the whole process with you. But basically what I did was remove the cabinets and primed them, cleaned them, primed them, used some specialised um, paint, um, for, especially for the job, for the kitchen cabinets. For the tiles, I used um, the same thing, a, a primer and then a tile paint. And for the fridge, I used an epoxy paint. And I also sprayed the handles in a bronze um, spray. So this is what it looks like now. I'm still not a huge fan of the kitchen. Um, yeah, I also painted the island too in gold. <laughs> but it is, it feels a lot better. It feels more like me. I can live with it, with this color. Um, it's a lot better. It feels a lot better than that really stark white. So if you have any questions about that process, let me know, but yeah. I acknowledge that I don't have all that much footage, but hopefully it can inspire you. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, catch you soon.